Welcome to Park Bench Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Hey everybody, it's Randy Goodman here with Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am excited to be here with Sarah Clark, who is a media strategist and founder of Duffer Media, and can't wait to hear all about it. So thank you for being with me, Sarah. Great. Thank you for inviting me on. Well, it's my pleasure, and I can't wait to hear. So tell us a little bit about your business, and what do you guys do? Yes. Uh, so Duffer Media is my um media agency. It has been in business since 2012. We started out doing social media management and we expanded into other areas naturally as our clients needs grew and our expertise grew. So we now sort of, do, we offer a full service of uh, digital marketing services from websites, branding, logo design to social media management and SEO, other services like that. Okay, perfect. Now, I know some people might be thinking like it's too expensive to hire someone to do my social media or to get a website. It's so many thousands of dollars. You don't have to give numbers, but can you tell us like the affordability of it? And you could be talking to like large corporations or you can be talking to solopreneurs like from one end of the spectrum to the other. Can you give us a little idea of that? Yes, absolutely. Well, our goal when we started out, when we founded Duff for Media was to make uh, to offer a budget-friendly solution for small business owners and nonprofit organizations. So I always keep that in mind. It's a fine balance between running a business and offering a profitable service because we all have to pay our overhead. Um, but, but it's really important to me to be able to service small businesses and solopreneurs, just like you mentioned, as well as nonprofit organizations. So we always try and have a mixture of uh, solutions for every budget, whether it's for social media management or website creation. So it's not, we're not, we don't price to, you know, um, to compete with those high end mm -hmm. uh, boutique agencies. We're here to really help those small business owners. So our website solutions start at $500. And our social media solutions, actually, we have a special trial on right now that's only $99 a month. Wow. We really try and keep that in mind. Wow. And, and that's very affordable. So I love that. And of course, you guys will get the contact info afterwards. You can get a hold of Sarah and see how she can help you with your business. But is this something that you always did, Sarah? Like, were you always into media? Or what did you, like, what's your journey? I've been in digital marketing since 2003, but I actually set out in my education for accounting. So it went from quite a flip. I, um, I went to school for accounting and I originally worked in the corporate world for accounting and you know, it just somehow naturally flipped on me and I found my passion was actually in marketing. And I worked in a lot of different areas of digital marketing uh, for a long time before I started sort of self teaching um, myself about marketing on social media. Mm -hmm. And I took some courses on marketing on Facebook and Twitter and started doing it for myself um, and for my own businesses. And then realized that there was potentially a solution there to offer it to other small businesses that didn't have the time or knowledge to run their own social media. So it just sort of gradually developed through my journey, but I started out in accounting, which actually helps because I have a strong foundation for numbers and statistics, and I can understand the financial situation of my own company and of others. I can understand that they're trying to budget, and that they have costs and revenue that they need to reach. So it's been interesting. I'm laughing because I'm totally resonating with what you're saying because I'm fourth level CMA. And, you know, it, it definitely, you know, when I separated like 12 years ago, it was like, okay, I definitely don't want to be a bookkeeper. I don't want to work for an accounting firm, but what am I going to do? And I ended up doing marketing and promoting. <laughs> right? yeah. I, I know I got to a point, I was taking my CGA courses and I got to a point where I just, I was like, I don't want to do taxes and this is 
boring. Like there was something in me that just wasn't getting satisfied by that accounting. No offense to all you accountants out there. No, no offense. <laughs> I really appreciate what you do yes. like, for your service. Yes. But, um, it just wasn't, some, I was good at it, Yeah. but it wasn't fueling my, my passion. No, oh, I hear you. I hear you. And and I love the fact that, you know, my dad's an accountant. Um, it kind of runs in the blood, but I love that. Yes, you love numbers and whatnot. And it also does all kinds of other wonderful things for you, right? As far as, uh, you know, uh, education and understanding and whatnot. But, um, you know, not necessarily wanting to sit at a desk all day and do that. Um, yeah, so I love that. Thank you. Now, you also, um, and I want you to tell us a little bit more about the services in a minute, but you also give back to society and that's really important to you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. Um, giving back is extremely important to me. I grew up in a household that was financially unstable and it was really traumatizing for me growing up, money was a big stress. I never felt secure about money. Even later in life when I had money, I didn't feel secure. It was just something that sort of got ingrained in my subconscious that right. I was not safe about money. So later on, when I started doing the marketing piece and here in my hometown, um, my family had actually used the services of our local food bank Mm. years ago yes. so it just uh, appealed to me to reach out and see if they needed any assistance with their social media mm -hmm. at the local food bank and that sort of started a new part of my story where I found such um, internal reward from helping in a capacity that gave back to the community and people that were vulnerable in our community mm -hmm. and to be able to use my skills for that. But then also I do, um, I do client intake there. So I get to work on the front lines and, and interact with people that are in those vulnerable situations. And I just find it really rewarding. I, I can't explain it. I don't know if I can put it into words properly. It's just something that I want to do more of. And I've, I've grown different pieces of how we as a company at Dufferin Media give back to the community as well. Mm -hmm. So anywhere that I see an opportunity for that, I'm always jumping in. It just, um, there's something that it, it's, again, it's just, it's hard to explain. I mean, you. I'm going to explain it in two words. I call it mental income. Mm -hmm. Mental income. Doesn't put food on the table. Doesn't put a roof over your head, but it makes you feel them good <laughs> yeah, and, and just working with the other volunteers and that sense of community um you know i that was part of my first uh, reaction when i started volunteering there because a lot of the ladies were older that volunteered at the food bank and i lost my mom when she was younger and it yeah. was just getting those hugs from those older women just again it just fired that as you said that mental income it just you know, it filled my heart with reward. So it's everything. It's from the, you know, working with other volunteers to building friendships with people that have the same values as you. And then to actually sit and have conversations with people that are sitting in vulnerable situations and being able to maybe give them a suggestion that will help improve their life. And I've even had situations where they've given me a suggestion because I'm going through something in my life and they've gone through something and they help me. Yeah. Like it's such an amazing yeah. balance. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. And thank you for giving back because it's so important, right? It's so important to help somebody else. And we really don't know what kind of uh, impact we're having on them, right? We really don't know. Uh, you know, some people will tell you, but you really don't realize how much you can change someone's life by something so little and so easy to do. And, uh, you know, it's taking that action. That's the huge part, right? And so thank you for doing that. Uh, okay, so tell us a little bit more about your biz and maybe give us an example of a client who used your services and the difference that happened in their business. Hmm. I've worked with a lot of different types of businesses. Um, 
trying to think of one that really stands out. Um, I'm going to use a recent example, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. On the current COVID-19 pandemic, when they called the state of emergency and they ordered all retail stores to close, mm. I have actually a couple of clients that immediately wanted to pivot their business okay. and take their business online so that yes their physical doors had to close but they were able to um, create an online store and an online presence immediately and what I loved about that so what we what we've helped a few clients do in that situation is um, put their business onto a Shopify solution mm -hmm. which is quick and inexpensive and it's really easy to use wow. and as so they go, I really respect it because not only do they then pivot and they can still service their customers locally, right. they now have the opportunity to sell all across Canada or all across the world. So they've immediately expanded their business model overnight and they've taken advantage of the current situation. So I really respect that piece of recent clients and I've been able to help with that. I love that you're able to help with that. And, you know, for anybody listening out there who has a business that your doors had to shut for this period of time, what a great solution. Cause I know a lot of them are probably sitting at home going, I don't know what to do. I, you know, I'm going to have to close my business and, but they don't, there's other solutions for them and talking to somebody like you who has some ideas for them or able to help them to get those things online, not only can help their business locally, but expand their business possibly internationally, right? Like <laughs> the options are limitless. So I love that you're able to provide that service. And for you guys listening, please, please, please reach out to Sarah if you want help with, uh, you know, how can you scale your business? How can you keep your doors open? even when you can't have a physical door, right? <laughs> I love that, thank you. So do you have any tips or suggestions for people before we sign off? I would suggest, especially given this current environment, but also all the time, a relevant, um, a, a social media or digital marketing tip would be to put the communication at the top of your marketing list of tasks to do because the more that you communicate with your audience the more that you stay top of mind so be visible and be relevant it's not um, necessary that you're out there selling all the time you can be sharing a lot of different content that is valuable right now um, you can be interacting with your community in a way that you never have before showcase Show compassion, show that you're human, whether you're a large company or just a solopreneur. Those types of messaging right now on digital marketing platforms like social media and email and your website are really getting the best results. So stay visible, stay relevant, double down on your marketing, post more than you ever have before and just pivot on your, on your messaging so that it, you know, is, it, it makes sense for today's environment. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And how can people work with you? How can they uh, reach out to you? The easiest way to reach me is via email. So my email address is sarah at duffernmedia.ca and that's Sarah with an H. You can also find my website at www.duffernmedia.com or my personal blog is www.sarahclark.biz and that's where I share a lot of my own um, educational articles. Love that. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for being on here. We're going to have all the links for you guys to connect with Sarah on the page. So don't worry about, uh, you know, trying to write down everything Sarah was saying or getting it spelled wrong. We're going to have it for you so you can easily connect. So thank you so much, Sarah, for sharing with us today. Thank you so much, Randy, for having me. Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.